Hey, happy Wednesday. So we are at the beginning of March and a lot of people have been thinking about relocating. You know, we had the mass kind of uh, just being fed up with the last couple years of things and uh, mass migration has happened as well as uh, um, people rethinking their future and what's important to them. So as I've been talking to a lot of my Massachusetts friends and clients, a lot of people talk to me about um, what they're looking for in a Florida location. And it's different for everybody, you know, but there are some basic questions you have to answer uh, for yourself to figure out where you feel comfortable if you're going to either become a permanent resident down here or uh, maybe a part-time resident, a snowbird, something like that. So here are six questions that you probably need to answer for yourself before you contact me um, and begin your journey to, you know, figure out what you want to do if you're going to be heading south or heading anywhere in the country. So you've, you've picked Florida, let's say, and you haven't figured out exactly where you want to be, but you know you want to be in the warmth. So here's the first question you're going to ask. The town or the city that you want to retire to or have a second home in, does that cost of living fit in uh, your budget now? Will it fit in in the future? Can you afford the housing? Um, these are a lot of things you have to take a look at. Um, property taxes vary, obviously, from state to state and within city to city, town to town. So, you know, you know what your budget is now, let's say. Uh, is that going to work for you in the future as your earning income changes or maybe you go, um, you know, towards retirement? Um, so that's one of the questions. It's one of the things you have to think about. If you're going to be holding on to two homes, one up north and one down south, um, are those expenses going to fit in your budget? So second thing, and it becomes very important as we get older, obviously, is the health care available um, nearby that's sufficient for your long-term term goals? Or are you going to have to drive far a considerable distance to see specialists? Well, I can answer that question for you. There are specialists and, um, you know, great health care all over the place in Florida. And that's much closer to me than it is in, uh, was for me in Massachusetts. So in some respects, I actually have a better level of health care that's closer to me um, than it was in Massachusetts. But everything is different. So you have to take a look at what your long-term needs may be medically and figure out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. It's a very important thing as we get older. The third thing is, who do you know that's living in the area that you're moving to? Um, I did not realize I had as many as friends and um, both year-round and snowbird friends in Southwest Florida uh, than I did. So I've been pleasantly surprised to know you know, I know a couple hundred people instead of, you know, two or three. So do you make friends easily if you don't have a lot of um, contacts where you're moving to? Um, are you going to be able to have access to highways, to lodging, to airports, um, so your friends and family can come visit? Uh, these are all concerns. If you've got grandchildren, you know, and you want them to stay at your house. Okay, so we have to look for a house that's got uh, sufficient amenities and sufficient size. Um, if not, you know, how many airports are around you? I mean, we're blessed in Southwest Florida to have airports all around us, so we don't have that kind of uh, concern. But, you know, you really have to think about these things, not just now, but in the future. So are you going to be comfortable with the climate? That's the big question. Everyone yells at me and says, oh my God, Florida's too hot in the summertime. Well, you've probably never been here to uh, enjoy a Florida summer. And it's no different than, you know, those 90 plus degree high humidity days, you know, that we have on Cape Cod or in Southeastern Mass. And I mean, most of us have been blessed with being near the water most of our lives, luckily enough where it's much cooler, but if you were in the city or in um, 
you know, New Bedford, Fall River, Taunton, Middleborough, um, it can be very, very hot in the summertime and you're nowhere near the water. And, you know, that's why people flock to the beach. But I'm here to tell you, it's no more humid and maybe a little bit hotter than that few days or week that you have back home. The difference is it lasts longer. I won't lie, July, August, and September are very hot here, very hot. And um, with climate change, you know, we've had differences here as well as back in Massachusetts. So, you know, we're going to be having 90 degree weather this weekend, but that's an abnormality. Normally we would be in the 70s or 80s, but you have to take that into consideration. You know, if you're someone who doesn't like hot weather where you live now, um, you know, this may not be your area for other than a few months of year uh, if you're uncomfortable with that type of weather, but that's a consideration. So the next thing is about lifestyle. So this is the fifth um, item um, that you question that you need to ask yourself before calling me and discussing, you know, what you want to do in the future. What's your lifestyle? Do you Are you looking for arts? Are you looking for dining? Are you looking for festivals, golf, swimming, shopping, trails for biking and, and walking, continuing education, that sort of thing? Um, what I was pleasantly surprised to find in Southwest Florida where I am is I love to walk and I like to bicycle and the trails are incredibly diverse and even the sidewalks are six to ten feet wide. I mean, it's awesome. So you don't feel like you're going on this narrow little trail. Uh, lots of people are out walking and riding bikes every day and we can all walk and pedal alongside each other. Um, it's a very, you know, Florida's flat for the most part. Uh, so it's very enjoyable to walk and bicycle. But we have a lot of festivals. We have a lot of music, a lot of arts. I'm, I'm amazed at the artistic uh, diversity that's down here. And there's colleges everywhere for continuing ed. So these are questions you have to ask yourself uh, as you transition to another phase in your life. What's important to you in terms of arts, culture, lifestyle? Uh, don't think that you're going to make a wholesale change in your life, um, but you may. You know, maybe you're going to take up um, other arts and crafts and cultural things that you didn't do during your working life. Um, and Florida is a great place to pursue those things. So the last one is probably the most important. If it doesn't work out for you, if you get down here to North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Florida, Georgia, wherever you're moving to, what's your plan B? Are you going to be able to move if you can't make the new hometown work for you? Are you going to be able to go someplace, go back to someplace? Um, that's a very important thing. So let me just wrap up the six. What are the cost of living? Are you going to be able to handle it now and in the future? Um, healthcare, very important. Um, are you going to have access to the health care that you may need? Uh, do you know anyone in the area that you're moving to? Do you make friends easily? Do you want to join things and uh, be part of the community? Uh, are you going to be comfortable with the climate year-round? That's a big concern. Um, what are you going to do for activities in the next phase of your life? Are you interested in arts and culture? Are you looking for communities that have uh, colleges nearby for continuing ed? Um, do you like to bicycle, walk, run? These are all things that you need to look for. And lastly, uh, do you have a plan B if for some reason it doesn't work out for you? Listen, I'm always here to talk, um, always. So Cindy Parola, Caldwell Banker Sunstar. I work out of the Northport office. Happy to help you with any of your real estate needs, uh, relocating, snowbird, investment, I'm here to help, and if I can't help you, I will find you a fabulous agent that can. Thanks. Have a great Wednesday.